After a slow overnight crawl, Artemis is now on the launch pad, the most powerful rocket ever ready for a new chapter in human exploration. It's a future where NASA will land the first woman and the first pu- person of color on the moon. But first, this critical uncrewed test flight set for August 29th. Artemis will carry the Orion crew capsule, speeding to a 42-day mission orbiting the moon. If the flight goes well, humans could orbit the moon within two years, then a moon landing in 25 or 2026, and orbiting lunar space station and moon base before going on to Mars. I can bounce gently in this spacesuit and, uh, and not... Uh, Very unlike what I can do on Earth. At NASA's training pool in Houston, engineers and astronauts are already testing new spacesuit designs for future moonwalks. Astronauts have been training in this pool since 1996, but now they've had to divide it up. Half the pool is dedicated to space station spacewalks. A quarter of it now is dedicated to replicating the moon and the darkness of space. That means dropping thick black curtains to block the light. And they've covered the bottom with sand and rock to recreate the conditions on the moon. This is very similar to what the Apollo astronauts did in preparation for their missions to the moon. Lisa Shore is the deputy chief of the pool lab. Are you taking those lessons from 50 years ago and applying it to the pool here? We are, we are absolutely doing that. Every time somebody gets in that spacesuit and like on the bottom of the pool, you know, climbing ladders, we learn something new, or where the suit works, where it doesn't, where communication works, where it doesn't. Even practice planting the American flag, new technology and a new space race, as China promises that soon its own astronauts will also be on the moon. Tom Costello, NBC News, Houston.